Hey guys, if you are following along with uh, our tutorial on how to do a uh, dependency injection in Visual St uh, in ASP.MVC with uh, Unity, um, the last example that I showed you was very simple because the, the, the service class, in the local way the service was pretty easy to instantiate because it doesn't have any uh, parameterized constructor. So just for like uh, let's now um, uh, let's now see how to uh, create a how to do dependency injection of the object that has a lot of uh, constructor parameter, right? Let's go. I'm going to go ahead and write some imaginary uh, services. Let's say I'm going to say I'm going to write um, a service that can maybe uh, connect to that can talk to your Facebook or something. Just the, this is not really functional talking, but like. Just for the purpose of dependency injection, let's go ahead and add a class here. Add a class called Facebook Connection Manager. So I Facebook Connection Manager. Or something. This is my interface. Um, this would have a class. Why it can we say um, bull? Authenticate. Let's say I want to say a method called uh, manage connection. Or let's just say authenticate. Authenticate user. Okay, or something like that. I just have one public method in this interface that our Facebook connection manager will be implementing. Let's go ahead and write uh, write a class that would be implement. Okay, this class of course, as you, as you already know, we're going to implement that interface. But uh, what I will do right here, instead of right now, this I'm going to have a constructor here, probably. In some of the things that I need to connect to Facebook, maybe a username, uh, or maybe the authentication token. Authentication token, and I also would like to inject the URL. Facebook connection URL or something like that. Okay. So when whenever instance of this object gets created, I need to have these piece, three pieces of information. Okay. So now, let's say read only string. Define some private field here. Read only string. Authentication, authentication token, a one more field called Facebook connection, Facebook connection URL, Facebook connection URL. Okay, something like that. We would, uh, we would like to this, you know. Um, have this object instantiated at runtime by using dependency injection. So basically, it should be doing some sort of constructor injection right behind the scene for us. Okay, the whole point of showing this one is like previous example was very trivial. That was you know parameter list constructor very easy to instantiate. But this one is more involved because it need, at runtime you need to provide all this uh, constructor parameter to be able to create the instance of this Facebook connection manager. Okay. And let's say um, I can do some verification now. If if there is a username and the authentication token and all those information are provided, right? Then I can make a connection. Now I have at least something. So it should be if it's not null or empty. The same thing with this one. And of course, yeah. String. Okay, if all this information is available to me. Okay. 
This is just for the testing purposes only. No logic in there, making sure you know all the input parameter exists before I can actually make call to the Facebook or whatever. Maybe, of course, you know, um, uh, here, in real life, if it was a real application that we're talking to Facebook, maybe perhaps we could use a web client or, or something, you know. But right now, I'm just going to say if this is all good, then I'm going to save it to the truth, okay? This is, otherwise, if something goes wrong, return false. The authentication failed. Okay, this is my, uh, 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 and of course, you know, then I have to just set my properties here. Username, set the value coming out from that. This authentication. Set the authentication token right here. And then set the Facebook connection URL. Facebook connection URL. Okay, something like this. These pieces of information all. Oh, that is not that. Okay, now our class is ready, you know. So, how to do inject, how to inject this kind of fairly uh, complicated because it, it takes some three uh, different kind of constructor parameter, right? So, let's see how to do this kind of configuration. So. Now, once that is all defined, let's make sure it builds okay. We have any, any problem that we have exposed. Okay, build succeeded. Let's go into our uh, system here. But listen, now we have this thing defined. We would like to use this class, this connection manager, into our uh, controller. Okay, so I'm going to go. This is the demo controller. As you are, if you are following as along the course, so. Private read only i Facebook connection manager. I'm going to say uh, connection manager. And I'm going to inject this guy here. Okay, state this information into set our private field with the value that comes out into the into the constructor right once that is done I can say okay if now I can write something like this if the connection is you know if it's authenticated user maybe just for just for the demo I would have let's say let's say this operation right here is depending upon whether the connection was established with the Facebook or not maybe that Perhaps that might have been your logic, right? So, of course, if I run this one right now, it's going to fail. It has no idea how to do a dependency injection for that complicated object, right? doesn't know. It's definitely going to fail. Yeah, it says no parameter list constructor defined for this object because we haven't done any uh, dependency injection. So we, it doesn't know how to create an instance of this one because it is not really provided yet, right? So, okay, so that's the next thing we'll have to do. So um, let me close all of this and just open this Facebook Connection Manager, uh, not the interface, but the class. And then I'm going to show you something into, um, okay. Now let's go into our here. This is our you know, IOC configurator. Okay. Just like we did it here, we would like to have this configuration. Okay, let's configure the Facebook. Okay, it's a container. I'm going to register a new type here. The type that, of course, the interface would be Facebook Manager. Just something like that. Okay. Even if I just do this, this is not correct because, like, I'll, I'll, it's not going to work. Even though we have this configuration done, but it's going to fail because you know our our, our class.
Yeah. No parameter list constructor defined for this object. And if you look 